So James Bond is someone that I've always watched as a child, so it's just extremely exciting to be in an event here at the 25th um, release of one of his films, The No Time to Die, so I'm just extremely excited. Um, but for most especially, I just think it's beyond what James Bond means to me, it's what all the Bond women mean to me. And today I'm actually trying to dress like one because I think they exude power and they're very confident and always a very key character in all his movies. From a business perspective, it's the largest franchise in the world. From a moral point of view, he's the good guy. Yeah, he's the good guy that always somehow gets us all out of trouble. Um, you know, there's, it's got everything for everyone. You know, it's got the action, it's got the romance, um, it's got beautiful locations. You know, all the things that you want to see in, an, in, in, a, in a movie, I mean, as a movie maker, as a filmmaker, um, yeah, sometimes I'm a little bit jealous, like, you know, all these locations, you know, all these sort of, you know, you can imagine the stunts cost of even just getting those stunts done and then all the tech that goes into it. It's got a little bit of everything for everyone um, but it's it's one of those franchises that everybody just loves to love. I'm a huge James Bond fan. Uh, I've, I used to dream when I was younger that I would be a <laughs> future James Bond. But it was not going to happen. But um, it's a huge, uh, it's been a huge pleasure of mine to witness uh, uh, the new Bond. Even though this is his last franchise with the film, and um, I think he's been, he brought a different sort of edge to, to what James Bond is. And I, he's really been a, been a ride, and I'm going to miss him. Looking forward to who the next Bond is going to be. I don't know if I'm a huge advocate of a black Bond, to be honest. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see how things shape out. Looking forward to the reception of the new one, No Time To Die, uh, and what we have to say. Thanks. Hello.